to see Fruit Loop not go for anything too predictable or conservative when it comes to Falco because the Moon is already used to uh, nearly every everything that a general Falco would go for. Yeah, all oh, great movement from the Moon. Barely misses that platform follow-up, though. If anything, we'd have to see him employ some good mix-ups. That's what catches a lot of good players off. You know? Yep. All right, well. Oh, the weight gets that shield stab. It, oh, okay. It, it, that was smart by Fruit Loop. He saw he was covering the, the what do you call it? Short, um, oh god, brain fire. Edge cancel. Uh -huh. And he went for the short instead. That was smart. Nice. That was really good. Fruit Loop taking the first stop. Yeah, took his double jump and just, that was it. Okay, right there, not safe. Not safe. No, nope. <laughs> if only G-Money himself were here right now. Oh, man. No, no, that's the moon who says that, not G-Money, <laughs> The moon right? says not safe yeah. every time. It's not whenever safe. that happens. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but he actually, <laughs> he smirked a little bit. Did he? Yes, because <laughs> he knows. He knows, dude. Great shield drops from uh, Fruit Loop so far. Up tilting and up airing on his shield on a platform is just straight up not safe against him because he'll shield drop and punish you for it immediately. Oh, DJ, I mean, uh, the moon actually going straight underneath that laser with a dash attack. Fruit Loop's going to have to be careful with the height of his lasers. Mm -hmm. Nice short. Oh, oh got him. <laughs> yeah, the moon <laughs> laughing. He knows. <laughs> I respect that. Yeah, that was great. Oh, good DI down right there by Fruit Loop. Actually, oh. the moon. Oh, yeah. Goodness. Oh, okay, wow. I guess so. That was not guaranteed by any means, but he just caught him. Sick combo right there by yeah. Fruit Loop. Three piece. Not even employing the lasers in that situation. Just sort of like beating him out with the back air. Oh. Ooh, I like the fair out of shield right there from the moon. He was, Fruit Loop was out of grab range. Good That's DI so cool. by Fruit Loop as well from that up tilt. That's the oh. second time he DI'd out. Say. <laughs> nice angle. Oh, great movement from Fruit Loop. He still has his double jump. Nice side beat to delay his recovery yeah, as well. Yeah, that was perfect timing for the moon. Okay, Fruit Loop just opting for the up tilt. Oh, that was a phantom shield poke right there. Oh. oh. Well, not reacting to that tech back. He covered three out of the four options. The one that he didn't cover is the one that happened. That should be it. Wow, oh, Fruit Loop. Okay. The perfect height. Perfect. I love that he did that, too. That's something that a lot of space animals should employ when they get added like that. Oh, Ooh. the bait. The All bait. Right. <laughs> but yeah, if you drop down to that height, especially when you're off the screen like that, it's difficult for the Marth to actually hit you, you know? Yeah. They have to be really good on their timing. Or they have to read it and then take ledge instead. Oh, nice platform moving from the moon. Ooh, smart. Pulls back, falls to the platform, platform with a fair. Yeah, and that'll All do right. it. Keeping it close. Last stock. Mark Loop. can punish Falco really hard, though, so if the moon gets one grab, oh. it, could be, it could spell trouble. Yeah, that's true. There it is. One. He's on the platform. Oh, he, he barely misspaced that, or mistimed it. That was crucial. Yeah. Fruit Loop's actually making it real hard for the moon to get his hits. Or even convert his combos with his like good DI. Oh, oh, that was oh. so dangerous from Fruit Loop, but he gets the shine. What's he gonna do here? How's he gonna set this up? Light shield, F smash. No, F oh, throw. Okay. Goes for a grab. Yeah, he read that the moon was gonna block after that because he was expecting the F smash. Oh, oh, oh the air dodge almost didn't get back to stage. Wow, that Again, was definitely. Fruit Loop just opting to throw him off in the trade. Smart back air right there by Fruit Loop taking the first game. Now, if the moon reacted. To the air dodge, he could have definitely forward smashed him off stage, ran off and reverse up B. Big time, but yeah. But instead, he uh, missed the uh, punish. Yeah, both of them were kind of like, you know, really unsure of how to edge guard one another at the end. They both had opportunities, and uh, it was like they were trying to like really read the way the other one was recovering. But both these players, great on the recovery mix ups. Yeah. So that's why neither of them were able to quite react in time and punish each other. In the end, Fruit Loop gets the trade with the back air and closes out game one. And do you agree with this going right back here with the moon? I can definitely see the moon do well on this. He likes to, he likes having room to breathe. Yeah, one of our favorite oh, stages in the I love on the East Coast. <laughs> That's true. Battlefield or bust, right? Yes. Yep. You got it. Ooh, okay. Smart. Oh, yo! You see how fast he blocked and wave dashed out of shield. Great short for Fruit Loop. Overall, I'm really impressed by the way Fruit Loop is playing. Smart oh, combo. The conversion. There. Oh, he oh, goes for okay. a back air. Okay. Nice. You set the situation. I think wise of Fruit Loop to give up ledge right there too. The moon came in at oh, they snare. Came in at such an angle that it really ambiguous. Back air, nice. As to which way he was gonna try to recover, stage or ledge. Yes. And Fruit Loop said, listen, you got a lot of options here, I'm just gonna back up and control the center of the stage. Oh, Smart. bad spacing on that snare. 
And it was good on Fruit Loops' part to recognize that that was punishable. And again, his DI just making it hard. Oh, for the Moon to follow up off of that fair. Yeah. <clears throat> but good forward smash right there by the Moon taking a stop. Mm -hmm. I think eventually the Moon's going to have to start reading these shortens because Fruit Loops yeah. been going for them a lot. And the Moon keeps covering that full side beat length into the stage. So look for him to make that adjustment. Oh, okay. I was going to say he had no jump, but he got on the platform. F smash? Ooh. Moon's still alive. Oh, great. Fruit Loop kind of set him up with the little bait there. Went for the light shield and then just pops right out of it with the back air. Very nice. Good neutral air right there by the moon. Nice. Oh, and the thing is, he keeps catching. Yes. Oh, oh. F smash? Okay. I was thinking maybe down smash, but he spaced for the F smash. I was going to say, Fruit Loop keeps catching the moon when he's trying to act in the air with uh -huh. the laser. And once Marth gets hit with that laser in the air, it becomes a really bad situation for him against oh, Falco. Yeah. Absolutely. If you land laser F smash at a close enough distance, that is a true combo. Once Marth's in the air. Oh, okay. Didn't get the crouch cancel. Good nice smash. F smash out of shield, though. Oh, the shield Solid. drop. What did I say? You cannot up tilt on that shield. He'll punish you for it. Not safe. <laughs> Back air. Nice DI from the moon. Really giving himself an opportunity to survive. Nice. And now Ryan down two stocks. This is winner semis. Yeah. For Luke trying to advance against DJ Nintendo in winner's finals. Oh. Okay. I think that's going to do it. Still with the full stock lead for Fruit Loop. He's got to be so careful, though. He can't get a little over aggressive. He cannot get grabbed. That's exactly what the moon wants right now. You can definitely tell that Fruit Loop is confident, though. After he lost that stock, he did smile. Oh, nice crouch cancel oh. on that up tilt. That was so important. If he didn't get that, he would have been in such a bad situation. Okay, that was a nice fair from the moon. He almost set up a grab out of it. Good DI from Fruit Loop. Fruit Loop's aerial placement is just really good. It is. He's reading that the way the moon is trying to get down off of these platforms really well, and he's interrupting. Oh! No down air? Oh! What the hell? Oh, oh my, my god! god. Let's go! How moon. did he do that? What was the that? The weirdest. He got on the other side of him and edge guarded him from, uh, the, from behind, I guess. <laughs> Last stock. Oh, the counter! Sick counter nice. by the moon. Oh, now Fruit Loop's in a bad situation. The moon, oh. covering all options, down throws. Nice tech chasing. Okay, Fruit Loop gets out. Now he's... Oh! How's he going to set up this edge guard? Is Fruit Loop going to go for a back air? He, he does, does, but, but a little too yeah. The moon was ready for it that time. Fruit Loop did it earlier. Oh, that's, stock. that's should be it. Yes, good Game job. Game three. The moon brings it back from three stocks to one. Excellent edge guard at the end. I love the way he got the grab and he worked the ground. Didn't go for the up throws too much. He's like, listen. Oh, hold on. Oh, this was the end. Okay, I thought he was going to do the replay with the uh, the throws. Oh, the, look at this. He reg guarded from behind. That was crazy. I couldn't believe he got back from that. Um, but on that grab in the last one when he was doing down throw and tech chase, uh -huh. he's been doing up throw all game. He's been trying to work the platforms, but it hasn't been working. So he's like, listen, I'm going I'm to change it up. I'm going to stick to what I can do, and I'm going to try to just control center and keep the, keep the bird from getting the laser out and being comfortable at any point, because that's what you want to do with Falco. You don't want to give him that space, and he didn't. Okay, well, we're going to go straight into game three on the same exact stage. No counter picks. Battlefield uh. all the way. I like it. Ooh. A little too early on that there, making it hard for him to follow up. Nice. Fruit Loop patiently waiting. Gets the full roll from the edge punish. Looked like the moon was probably waiting for Fruit Loop to do an action right there when he went for the neutral air. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, baits up the grab. Again, Fruit Loop taking the lead here. Nice. Oh, Gets that. all right. I this called it a little cool. early, but I was right. <laughs> oh, retreating areas from uh, the moon. Fruit Loop really not throwing out too many lasers on his approach right there. That's why the moon is able to get those retreating fares out so well. Ooh, Ooh. solid tipper. Damn. No laser that time either. Again, lack of lasers from Fruit Loop. Look at him just going for the dash dance. I guess respecting the moon's ability to deal with those lasers. Oh, the bad timing on the aerial from the moon. He could have possibly interrupted that. He was spaced correctly for it. Oh, uh, Fruit Loop <clears throat> misses the DI and messes up his instant phantasm. Yep. Out of the hit stun. Right, there we go. Lasers coming back out a little bit. Fruit Loop's finding some space. Oh, nice Ooh. patience from the moon. Yeah, it looked like Fruit Loop was setting up for a shield drop and immediately went for it anyway. <laughs> got him on the platform. This could be dangerous for Fruit Loop. Oh, oh, almost got that tech chase. Moon is staying 
way more grounded too in this match. He was using the platforms a lot more. Ooh, that TI was not good. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah. Um, especially since, like you said last game, Fruit Loop was doing an excellent job of just interrupting his descent from those platforms. And his coverage with the F smash. I feel... Oh, that's a stock. Yep. Last stock for Fruit Loop now. Uh, I feel like that the fact the Moon is staying more grounded, he's able to just win more exchanges overall. Yeah. The reason he got caught right there was because he tried to escape Fruit Loop while he was invincible, so he opted for the platforms just to get away. Mm -hmm. Down smash was nearly perfectly spaced. And good nice punish on the side B. Yep. What were you going to say? Crouch cancel? Yeah, the good crouch cancel from the neutral air by Fruit Loop. Yep. Moon's going to have to be careful of that every time he's coming back from stage. Wow. And just like we saw last game, a three stock to one lead for the Moon erased, and we're down to a one stock game again. Wow. This time it's the other way around. Loop comes in with that laser grab again. Really likes those grabs on Marth. He's able to convert really well. Oh, the Moon missing two techs. Oh, he's got the up tilt. Can he kill him off this? No. Oh. Good DI from Fruit Loops. Able to get out of it. Oh, oh. barely missing the down air. Nice short. Oh, Beautiful tipper. the tipper. All right. And the Moon moves on to face DJ Nintendo in the winner's final. The first time the Moon covered the short. And yeah. he destroys him with the tipper. That was great stuff. Moon and DJ, winners finals. So I think we're going to hop in a loser's bracket now for a couple of character dittos. Oh, yes. Yes. So let's see if we can just update the bracket real quick. Absolutely. We got a pencil and a paper. The Moon DJ Nintendo. And now, losers, let's see here. B1, loser of B1 goes here. Duck lost. So Duck will be.